Right, Jeff, here we are. The first video of 2022. Yes, it's very cold in here. You just, you just put the heater on. I know. Outside, it's been hail it's and sleet. Outside. Hail, sleet, and snow. I know because I've just yeah. been out in it with my dog. Yeah. So it's quite a horrible day. And at the moment, your little workshop is at sixes and sevens. Everything's I've been, been moving stuff around. Yeah, everything's been moved around. Everything's not where it should be. Not because I want to move it around. I know. Just, just like someone in, in the house saying, oh, I'll yeah. move my chair here and yeah. oh yes yeah and the reason is because there and you've now managed to sell your uh, the mill that your milling there. drill whatever you want to call it that was there yeah, yeah it got picked up the other day off, off eBay that's good so you've managed to move your what's that horizontal that's miller horizontal miller that yes. was there yes that's now been moved that from over there, there. Uh, so it's, it's all different and then here we've got the base the bridge of port. another miller that you've had for a while in bits that needs a bit of work to get it to uh, it, 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 up and running and a little bit of money spending on yes it. yes because it didn't include some well, sort of um, parts you need to make it work anyway we're, we're anyway so that's all okay so i've noticed over here underneath that yellow thing over there something you're working on at the end of oh, last that. year yeah so let's, oh, look, let's look at that the, looks uh, like you've actually been quite busy Let's get a bit closer. That's all a bit. All my bolts come, by the way. <laughs> okay, good, yes. Yeah. I only yeah, yeah. wanted 12, because, uh, do you know them that I asked? Yes, yeah, I got you some bolts a while ago. I think yeah. I made a, a calculation error. Oh, right, the wrong size were they? I, I thought, yeah, they were half inch too long. All oh, right. But you couldn't cut them down, because then there wouldn't be enough thread on them. Okay. So, okay. You, 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 oh, so right. I had to okay. get... Something else. Three oh, inch, well. yeah. Anyway, three inch bolt. what's interesting is if I come around here a bit and refocus, just so hang on, you've gone back to your fire again. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Let me just refocus and we'll look at that. Right, okay, so I've refocused and there we have your, I think it's a Wade. It's a Wade Supercharger, yeah. I think it's an, is it an old, oh, oh stand corrected on it. Is it an old 43? Oh, I, I don't think it looks in though. But the point is, you bought that. 301, so, something that. It was broken, wasn't it? It had some broken parts on it and uh, some end cases. It's, it's the original two end cases were damaged. Were pretty, well, actually, when you get these, I think if we find one, mm -hmm. I can see one there now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People use them, but technically, they're not a supercharger for a pumping fuel. No, but it's still a yeah, pump, essentially. They're, they're actually a scavenge pump. Okay. And what they have in them, the shaft runs through it with a steel bush in there, mm -hmm. and the exhaust gases can vent out of them. There's two vents, mm -hmm. which... If you were running there, if you tried to run them, because there's no seals in there, at some point you're going to get fuel mist coming out of them. Yes. Unless you can machine them out and put a seal in them. So what is it scavenging from? What's it for? It's usually, it's a, it's a diesel engine okay. and it scaven scavenges the, uh, the exhaust fumes. Okay, just, and, and just to sort of remove yeah. them from the... Uh, oh, I've made two billet end cases. You have. So yeah. let's uh, turn it round and let's see what you've been up to. So, so you made two billet end cases. The, well, the bearings... Oh, yes, uh, yes, I like that, yeah. The, the rotors are just resting in at the minute, the bearings yes. are... Yeah, I like that. You've done I've that same the design again, yeah. I've, I've actually... I've, when we made, did that smaller one... Yes. I, I milled the webs a bit smaller, but I like them when they go. All the way. All the way. Mm -hmm. they, they look a fraction thick, them. I think a fraction thinner, Mark. Well, aren't you going to polish it and round off the edges? I, I think if you, if you spend a bit of time mm -hmm. and sort of feather... You know, like if it was a casting? Yes. If, it, if that was a casting, that would be tapered. Yes, it would, yeah. And it would be... Well, if you spent some time and took it... Yeah, yeah. And... You know. Now, the point is, this yeah, is not yeah. going to be on a motorbike. It's not even going to be on a vehicle, I don't think. It's just going to be it, a... It just looks... I, I just it have looks to use nice. it as an ornament. It's an ornament, yes. It's well, a, believe me, if someone made me the right offer for it... Yes. It, but obviously, yeah. it's quite worn, so even if you put it on a vehicle, it would be... No, it's... I thought you said it was quite... There's um, a few pits in the road. Yeah, well, there you go. Don't get me wrong, it's not... It's for a show vehicle, shall it, we say. It would, it would work quite well yes, on a custom here. vehicle, but... For racing, yes. forget it. No, no it's not going to uh, give you enough. <laughs> it's not it, with the, with the superchargers now. These whipples and these screw superchargers. Yeah, they're much more efficient. It would be all right on something like a classic car, yes. maybe just for some. Yeah. You know, fun runs. You know, mm -hmm. like it's a 
drag salger or something yes, like is. that yes. if, if it was required. Okay, good. And I've also yeah. just noticed next to the supercharger over here is, a little is that little lathe that we saw some time yeah. ago, which you were going to do some work on and kind of tiny little bit. Minute, You're I not doing it yet. Okay, but that's something for the future. That's something for this year, no doubt. It, it, it was acquired, but ideally. It, mm -hmm. it requires there's a lot of work and there's yes. some bits missing right the, the, the gears for the power f you know if you mm -hmm. want to power feed it you yeah. can use it without power feed but there's a motor yes uh, it needs work but if anybody out there wants to buy a slightly used slightly incomplete little mini lathe then uh, i'm sure you can make make you an offer mm. Possibly, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was just in case. Sometimes, if you just want to do something, yeah, like yeah, just little, a small little job, small little things. Mm -hmm. You don't need a big lathe. No, 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 no. But then, if you haven't got the room, then you, a big one will make us. <laughs> well, that's right. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the next thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about, is progress from last year and what's going to happen this year in, tw in 2022. So, looking back over 2021. I know for a fact you made me at least three cranks. You did three crank rebuilds for me. You did one for your less for that, that, that rather nice Z1000. One for that, yeah. And what else did you do? You did at the start of the I year. I finished the comp bike one. Yes, oh, you done but another. I've got to get the, t the two webs one welding. Right, okay. Which is, it, it doesn't need doing right at this minute. Okay, so that's, when, that's five cranks yeah, you've done this year. Have you, you've not seen the shed, have you? No, I've got rid of no. the cupboard. No. And my bench is right. Oh, it's all, uh, oh, it's it's all revamped. It's all been good, good, good. Well, what, what it is, because I'm, I want somewhere clean and stuff yes. to start building things. Yes. You know, like if you... A clean room. A clean, somewhere clean where you're not going to run the risk of swarf or... Yes, so, great you know, all that, okay. you know. Okay. So, but anyway, I was looking back over some videos we made over the last year or so. And as I say, you've done a few cranks and you also made the start of the year about at least three, maybe four outrigger systems. I mean, I, I've got one. Oh. And a systems. I mean, I, I've got one. Oh. And I think you did two more for yourself. Yeah, this. So they've sort of been done ish. Well, uh, Paul in Blackpool, was it? Is it Doncaster? Not Doncaster. Um, York Yorkshire. Somewhere in Yorkshire. Oh, so he had one. He, he, he had one. Oh, okay. Um, so there's uh, two yeah. gone. And then I was looking through more videos, and one thing you've been doing all year long. That's right. Don't go wandering no, about I, the I, shot. Yeah. Is can you get is, a camera that automatically no, that no, follows you? That can't follow oh, you. No, God, no. Oh, God, um, no. Has been making con rods from scratch. Mm. You've done a few of them, haven't you? You've done like I've put it all up there. Yeah, that's it? okay. We've got uh, videos going back over there. And you've done about four or five sets, as I remember. I think I've done five sets. Yeah, five yeah. sets at 20, all by hand, which is a hell of a lot of work. Yeah. And you've also more recently made, I don't know how many sets, but a lot of sets of pistons. Yeah, they're all in the, I think yeah. they're and in the drawers. They're not quite finished yet because you've still got an issue about trying to drill the hole yeah, for the. Um, I've re yeah, I've, I've done my Honda ones and I made a, a slight, slight error. Mm -hmm. Two of them have not finished, but when I tried to ream two of them with a reamer, mm -hmm. it's reamed them perfect. Well, one anyway. One. Okay. But what happened is when you tried to do them on the miller, yes. if you get a reamer that's long, mm -hmm. I'd have to show. If you get a reamer, say it's got four inch travel on it, that machine that's reaming them mm -hmm. has to be spot on. And that's quite an old what? miller, is it? It, it? It's. What happens is when you ring through your first hole, and after you, uh, you go through your first hole, if there's any fractions of the quill or yeah. any movement, we're only talking half a thousand. Mm -hmm. If if it's okay, so that's now sort of on hold because you don't yeah. want to be risking damaging the other. Or the only other business. way, the only other way you can do them mm -hmm. is, uh, a, like you say, a small reamer. You can do them on a lathe, and if you if you get your carriage, or oh, then put the piston on. You the can carriage. actually put a bar through with a small honing tool, mm -hmm. and just keep moving moving your carriage right. back and two. Yeah, that way you can get it. Just. But well, have you tried to do that yet? I've not tried to do that yet because okay. you 
need a lathe that's <laughs> that's, that's, not pretty, worn out. that's not worn out pretty spot on yeah, yeah, to, yeah, do, yeah. to do that okay, okay. So, and then you've got to make up all the well we've got a, we've got this yes you, you made that to fixture didn't you so you can you could bolt that but it's setting up and then you could put that on mm -hmm. but then you pick you everything's got to be all yes, yes, yes. set yeah, up yeah i think we talked about that before it, it's to so, be honest it's a job making pistons and honing them must be and when, when it comes to pistons and things like doing all your valve guides and uh, yes, that yes. is it, it's what you call precision yes, precision engineering, engineering. Yes. yeah okay uh don't watch basically this year has been planning now to get everything organized mm -hmm. and there's they, still a fair bit more to do right but, right so yeah there's plenty of changes to do in here but that's kind of almost background work that's not getting anything finished that's not like finishing off a drag bike that's not finishing no, off an engine no but I have to get those things done first well the thing is once I can get that laid out of there mm -hmm. I'm hopefully going to try and sell the other one mm -hmm. the, 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 which well I was hopefully wanted to move the stuff away from it yes get it on hopefully mm -hmm. a famous website yes and uh, get it gone and hopefully if it if it sells it sells yes oh, I'm sure it will sure um, will. Okay, so you're still. And then I've stuff. got plenty of room in there. Yes. In this, I wanted to get this seat unit done. Mm -hmm. Get the comp bike. Oh yes, I noticed that. Yeah, I noticed that's here. Yeah. Let me um, let me move the camera slightly. We'll see this thing because that's been sitting yeah. around for God knows how long. Right. Yeah. So that seat unit isn't a seat unit, is it? That's the. That's the pattern. That's the pattern. What the class is the pattern. That's the pattern. You made that ages ago. Like, oh, no. This is for the spares bike, by yeah. the way. The frame for which is currently I don't know where. It's in bits somewhere. The frames on top of. The... <laughs> if, if you own that door there and point yeah. the camera in. All right. It's, it's up there somewhere. Yeah. It's in bits going yeah. rusty. So the engine's in a million pieces. It's got surface rust on the yeah, frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this yeah. is what I call a spares bike, and we did it. almost the the full build was almost finished, and it all got it, taken apart and moved around and nothing really happened yeah. and the last thing you did which was probably two years ago now was to make that yes that's a plug to make a mold which in turn will it, make the final it's product making a yeah. mold yes i mean obviously it's sort of the 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 no oh, it, it's you can get, get away with a few little marks here and there but, yeah, yeah. but anyway so that's whatever the first ends one. up in it right well, but of course you've job, got the same though. you've got the same problems i've got and that's lack of space because let's say you had the time and the money and whatever to do the work on that seat unit and get the frame ready blah blah blah, blah. well there's nowhere to put it is there? there's nowhere to put it because this thing here if they did start to build it i've no there's nowhere to put it. It. precisely so um, this, that's why this, things are this is the big slowing down a little, a little bit yeah yeah yeah. Right, okay yeah so that's a problem with lack of space well, and also of course lack of money lack of time whatever but space i think is the big thing right now because you can't really set up the frame and get the engine back in the frame and get everything ready because there's nowhere to put it there's like well because these things are quite big aren't they i mean the spares bike is a big long well bike, this you know? one it's back it's 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 at least eight foot long eight foot long yeah i mean it's not much different from the well, natural not bike much different than that maybe no. six inches it's yeah. got something like a 90 inch wheelbase yes, or yeah, yeah it's quite a big 88 thing. inch wheelbase if, yes. if, if a, yeah 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 so, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. Uh, but you've got it out here. Yeah, is well, it the thing is, if I move that over, there is enough room. There might be. Well. Once that's clear. But if you noticed, did you, you, you see that big red bow you made with big rubber wheels? Oh yes, yes. Yeah. But well, once that's got a rubber, a sheet of wood on it, mm -hmm. and some rubber, when the frame's painted, you can rest it on that. I can put the frame mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. under some cloth or whatever, okay, okay. and I can start building it on right and and you can actually move it around a wee bit move, i'll be able to if it if i can put it out there mm -hmm. while i'm working in here and then okay. if i do something there i can wheel it in here okay so so my question to that's you that's the jeff, idea okay okay so my question to you jeff what? is what are your goals yes goals for this year what do you want to achieve if we came back in december end of the year what do you ideally think could, it could be achieved you know, are you going to finish your Honda? Are you going to finish? I'd your... like to get the Honda frame painted. Well, that, and, yeah, and, and there's the Honda frame there. Bike. The only snag is at the minute, That's I've got to make blurry, a choice whether, as we all know, 
I haven't got the money. No, nope, you should have to, to throw everything. No, nope. and I've got. I think you've got the money to do even one of them. But well, at the minute thing. it's a struggle to yes. do one of them. I know it's not. It's right at the minute. So I always thought to myself. The one bike you should be doing is the Honda because yep. it's smaller, it's a twin, not an inline four. You've got most of the bits you need, and it's something that's probably kind of closer to your heart in a way because it's like your original old old bike it, that you it did does in bring, it. It will bring back memories. Yes, yeah, it's like you're, more, you're sort of more attached to that one than anything else. Yeah. Um, so for me, I'd get that done because you're close, the frame's ready to go, the engine's got its supercharger on it. Um, it just needs to paint him, doesn't it, really? Paint the damn thing. Yeah, but the thing is, if I can put the comp back, the idea of doing the putting all that together, mm -hmm. and if I can get the seat unit on it and get the engine and get loads of bits on it, if yes. someone wants to buy it yes. as a project, if <laughs> yeah, if, it's possible, it's possible. Yeah, it's kind of like a retro eighties. Yeah, well, it stands in bits with everything everywhere. You've it's no not worth it. Yeah, of course, it. yeah, yeah. But um, if, if it was ninety percent finished, well, well, you, you probably this is where I have to chance. go back in time about five years ago when you said to me, "Hey, we've got." so many spare parts from building this nitro bike which is here now we could build another bike just for a bit of fun it won't take long won't cost much money between six months and that was where the spares bike came from and you built, yeah. and sure enough we did we've got um, about 20 odd videos of that bike being built up in here from about two or three years ago or four years ago now i'm not sure which and it's called the spares bike project and it, you almost got it finished it was almost looking really nice well it, i had to strip it down to finish the bits of welding on the frame yes, yes of course and it all yeah. ended up being you but, know sort of broken up whatever but um yeah it took a lot longer than six months although to, to be fair to be fair to be fair it was almost finished it, although the engine needed a crank and whatever i think the um the actual bike itself was all there wasn't it and i think the last big job was to finish that thing off which was again from god i don't know three or four years ago something like that um, I take it it's it's in here now because it was in the shed and the shed has now been emptied I've out. cleared it all out yes. I've been yeah. well not cleared it all out I've been rejiggling it yes so I can actually get the engine all set up and start right. to yes build it yeah or at least get the bottom half together right ready to go in the frame and does that will that come before doing the Honda or after well, doing the Honda because you can't do both I don't think at the same time well the thing is if I build the Honda, then I've got to find, I've got to, I've got to find money. You do? Uh, work, get money. Mm -hmm. uh, That's always helpful. To run it. Um, the cheapest bike to run would be a Kawasaki, mm -hmm. because you can run it on methanol. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Honda, I want to run on nitromethane. Okay, which is expensive. And which and... is probably the about, mm -hmm. I'm guessing, 50 quid a gallon. Well, I don't know. Uh, but then again, now, the Honda's much more, you, you know, you can put it in a van, it would fit. You know, it's easier to move around, it's easier to store, it's easier to... The Honda with it being small and light... Yeah, yes, it's a lot easier to... It, it's a lot easier to... Work with. Work with, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. I mean, oh, well. the, comp, the spares bike, I mean, you're talking, it'll be way over. It'll probably be five, £500. Oh, yeah. It, it's going to be at least the same weight. Well, it's a very big, big bike, bike, I mean, bike it's, it's a long bike. Yeah. Uh, you need a sort of decent-sized transit van to move that around. I would imagine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's an open question for now. I think if people can see it once yes, it starts course. looking complete. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I think your, your, your chances of selling it. Now, would that be with an engine improve? that's finished and running, or would well, that be with I, engine in bits? It'd be nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. It'd be nice to run it, mm -hmm. even if you went to a meeting and then I had it up for sale there, because yes. I think that's the best mm -hmm. possible advert you can oh, get right. at selling anything like that. Well. But and let's imagine then that we're getting through this year so in some time in the summer you've got that spare spike up and not running but it's it's all back together again it's got a painted frame the bodywork's done the engine's in the supercharger's all attached blah 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 and you think yeah it's okay now i've done enough i'm going to sell it how much do you think you could get for it that's always a difficult question. It's though. a very difficult, difficult well, question. I'll, I'll give you a clue. It's more than a thousand and less than twenty thousand. Put it that way. So somewhere it, in between those two numbers. I think if you got it up and running, and it was a good bit of fun, mm -hmm. it's th this is the trouble you see. People say it, it's just going to be the sort of thing that you're going to go out and do a sprint meeting yes. for fun. Oh no, yeah, of course, or dragstalgia, whatever. Oh, dragstalgia. Yeah. It, it's because it'll look pretty. Retro. Retro, yeah. Yes. Um, 
it's not you know I don't think you're you're not going to set any records no 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 no. well Uh, and but are there more people now that maybe just want to do it just for the fun rather than for the serious well you need about a hundred grand to build a serious natural drag bike mate I'll tell you yeah and then you'd need another hundred grand to, so to, to get carry through, on yeah, 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 to get through uh, a few seasons yeah to, to, which uh, we haven't got well you haven't got I got you, it you, you'd be looking at 50 grand to run one for a year if he was doing the meetings if you did all of them yeah in Europe it, in well I think you do a lot less than that but uh, yeah it's certainly not a cheap it's cheap um, hobby no anyway so let's imagine there it is it's looking nice it sort of turns over maybe you can get it firing up I mean for me it's somewhere between five and ten grand that's kind of where I'm thinking. If you came to me and said, hey, I've got this thing here now, you think, oh, yeah, it's nice. Because it is a very small market, isn't it? Not many people yeah, out there. This is, your, this is your big problem with this, mm-hmm. this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, it, because the sport is so... and I, I know it is very, very small. I know, but, I mean, uh, but I think there are more people now building or wanting to race and play around with older... Older bikes, old, uh, older race bikes, older I race bikes. I think this is going to the, the, the these sort of machines. What's that? I mean, in my opinion, and I'm probably sound like I'm waffling on as though I don't know what I'm on about. But I think drag racing now has reached a point where it's boring. It, it, it's it's not. I'm not saying it's boring. It's actually gone. Got to a point now where the average person just has no way. Mm-hmm of of competing no. uh, well I suspect there's well, probably nobody in the UK building currently a nitro top fuel bike nobody there are some out there we know Ian King has sold his bike and, and there's a couple of older bikes that have been around for I mean, donkey's years yeah. who get updated occasionally but nobody's built a really top end nitro bike they might have bought one from America ever, but oh you know, yeah, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of anybody who's who spent that kind of money to build one. It, it, they're dying out in this country. Yeah. The, the people, the, the the cost of it now mm-hmm. running something like that has yeah. just got so. Well, you've got to look at like the street bikes. They're all high boosts now, aren't they? They're all stretched high boosts. Yeah. Back well, in the olden days, they were like Kawasaki, Suzuki's, Hondas, all kinds of. I mean, it was, yeah, obviously it was expensive to do then, yes. but it was more achievable yes. because a lot of people were using standard engines oh, yes, to a yeah. degree yeah. they'd they'd look around for oh i'll fit that supercharger or whatever mm-hmm. and your innovators and all the people that did things you know all, all that now is has gone going. well i think so. one reason is because there's far less people now who have a little workshop like you who know how to make stuff like that mm-hmm. who can mill and machine and weld and so on there aren't that many because those, those skills are dying out people now yeah. work in offices all day you don't work in factories and machine shops anymore i mean there are a few but it's getting very rare it's getting very hard to uh, find them sort of things now right um right okay so on that happy note <laughs> well that's happy it my plan this year i'd yes. like to get the honda painted yes the frame and uh, no, i've got like a little uh little bench that i can wheel it yeah, around yeah, on yeah. Uh, well, I mean, once it's painted, that means you're going to build it up. You can actually put the engine. Yeah, I can. I, I, well, to, what I need to do really is paint the frame and get. I've got to build the engine mm-hmm. with the he, with the top end on. Yes, you can't the put the bottom end in because you okay. can't get the end barrels on. Okay. So okay. basically, you've got to put the cases together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so your pistons and and obviously all your valve gears in. Right. If, you know, okay. so I can get it in. Well, Jeff, right now my camera's flashing the uh, red light because the battery's going, because we've been talking for too long. Right, okay, Jeff, I think my battery just died, Dan, because it's uh, it, we've been going on for a bit too long, yeah, it gets a bit cold in here, so been, I think we'll end it there. So yeah. we shall see in the year how yeah. far we get with these uh, various projects. I and think we'll what people want to start seeing is activity, the progress coming together. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and at the minute, I've stagnated a little bit with what I've got to yeah, do. Yeah, Well, hopefully now you're getting your workshop. Yeah, they, they want to suddenly see, hey, the engine's in it. Oh, yes. hey, that's done. Mm-hmm. And we, we need, to, I need to get to that point. So. Yes, we do. Right. On that note, then, we'll see how things go this year. So uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank and you. cheers.